You may know that UVA Darden is a top-ranked business school and only one of a few schools that uses the case method. But there are a few things you may not know about Darden, and as an alum myself, I'm here to tell you all about them. First, close-knit community is a business school cliche, but some cliches are true and Darden has that close-knit community. It has very intentionally created key elements that reinforce just that. Core to the Darden experience is the learning team, known as the LT. You'll have five peers who you collaborate with to crack each day's cases, and together you'll get through your first year. You'll spend four to five nights a week for an entire academic year in your designated learning team room building bonds that can be remarkably strong. In fact, years later, many learning teams have their own reunions. You won't take your first year classes with your LT, you'll all be dispersed across sections, the name for these 60 to 70 person groups that tackle the first year curriculum together. So at Darden, you'll belong to an LT and a section, the latter of which will have traditions passed on from class to class and will develop an identity of its own. Because at Darden, you're graded on class contribution. You're going to have to speak thoughtfully in class, and you won't just be sharing a few numbers here and there. You'll need to share your values in classes like ethics or organizational behavior. You and your section mates are not going to passively learn. You're going to get to know each other very well. LTs, sections, class participation, there's more. After the first class of every day, you have morning coffee. Students, professors, administrators, and even visitors gather in the rotunda for a cup of joe and maybe some announcements from the administration or a student club, or maybe there's even a performance. It can be a chance to connect with your learning team, ask a professor a question, or just chit chat with an old friend. It's the glue that keeps the community together. And I'm not even done yet. When you choose to study in a college town, you have very few pre-existing bonds with other students. Almost everyone in the class moves, in this case, to Charlottesville and starts over. So your friends, by necessity, are within the community, unlike if you went to, say, Columbia Business School, where many students will have work friends and college friends living in New York and will have communities beyond the school. At Darden, you will work and play together, and more yet, at Darden, students tend to live in the same two apartment complexes that are a very short walk from the campus. So it's more like you will live, work, and play together. The community is so strong that it's actually pretty hard to escape. Darden takes its community seriously. This truly is a must-know. Number two, or maybe a two-for-one, Darden's Dean Scott Beardsley and its Director of Admissions, Donna Clark, are beloved. Let's start with Dean Beardsley. He served for almost a decade, and I think the community hopes he'll stay for decades more, basically as long as he wants. He's raised $500 million. He's introduced a free worldwide course, bolstered the school's scholarship offerings, developed a new campus master plan, and built a massive five-star hotel on campus. And he's launched a campus in DC, and it actually goes on. He's a leader and a legend, and he works quite closely with admissions director Donna Clark, an ebullient presence who brings a glowing smile to her work each day. Donna is transparent, empathetic, and eager to engage. She's passionate about giving everyone a chance and persuaded Dean Beardsley to go test optional and stay that way as others retreated post-COVID. I know Donna well, and my feeling is that she looks at applications as a dialogue rather than herself as a gatekeeper. She and Dean Beardsley are a student and community-friendly team that embodies the school's values. Third, Charlottesville is awesome. Inexpensive relative to other programs, quaint and green, with Jeffersonian architecture, red brick and white columns everywhere. There's endless biking and hiking in the area, rafting too. There are vineyards and golf courses, even the UVA's own Birdwood course. There's fine dining, a few James Beard winners in fact. There's plenty of history in the region and the arts that a college town offers in terms of music, speakers, sports, and cultural events. If you're looking for Manhattan, this ain't it. But if you want a buzzy college town, it doesn't get much better. Does Darden sound like a place for you? Check out our next video on how to get in.